I've been building with cursor. I've been using cursor a lot lately and it's been fantastic. I'm very much used to it. But I've been building using WordPress for a few months now. I built the plugins before. I've got a few videos. If you look um, a few months back, I've got some videos building different plugins, small plugins. Uh, that was when we still had Claude 3.5, but 3.7, 3.7 is something else. But I've got some tips for anybody building with WordPress because I didn't know this when I started. So it's been quite a journey and it's been a hell of a lot of tokens. It's been so many tokens. It's been so many hours. I'm still not done yet. So this is the local WordPress directory that I'm building. It's called Directory Pro. And I'm probably going to do an in-depth video for the idea to MVP community because there's a lot to unpack with this. But because we've now run into, I guess, building with Lovable, I'll say Lovable specifically because it uses Vite and React and Next.js on Bolt is not so bad, but we still have to connect to Superbase. And I've been loving connecting to Superbase and learning what we can do because we can do so much. We can do so much on Superbase. I just, every idea that I had, I tested with Superbase and it was capable. So I love that database, but I'm a WordPress. I don't know what the word is, but I've been, I've been using WordPress for the past, 10 years now. So I know WordPress. I'm comfortable with WordPress. I've broken WordPress many times and it's fine. <laughs> I always know that I can figure it out with WordPress. The fatal errors, the critical errors, um, having to go into the FTP when you've got it on a, a shared hosting or a server and, um, and having to go in and, and delete the plugin and start again and things like that. I've done all of that. So I love WordPress. I know WordPress and what WordPress offers is the back end covered. So if you can build a nice front end that this, this doesn't have to be React, doesn't have to be Next.js, but if you can build a nice front end and have WordPress as your management system, so whether you're adding products, whether you're adding blog posts, all of that stuff is handled. And from an SEO perspective, WordPress is a beast. There's nothing that you can't do. But I initially, when I started doing no code, when I started building with no, co no code, I thought that there were more limitations with, with WordPress than there were because now I can build all these apps, I can build these tools, I can pretty much build anything with um, Lovable and Bolt. You can build anything. You can build games, you can build tools, you can build all kinds of amazing lead gens. You can build some really serious systems, micro SaaS, and I'm all for it. And um, But what what using Lovable has opened me up to is because I sat down and I built an entire CMS, a powerful CMS in Lovable for, let me see if I can get it up. I built an entire CMS in Lovable for this site. And actually I built the entire JPS fitness site out and realized that uh, from an SEO perspective, I'm pretty much gonna have to rewire that site or just do this, do the WordPress CMS. I'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. But um, this is something I didn't know when I started. I've been learning as I as I go, which has been amazing. But the server-side rendering thing has been a big issue. If you've been following any of my tweets or any communication, even in the no-code agents group, we've talked about it and we've gone through loads of different options, fixes, workarounds. Um, let me just get this community up. So this site. Yeah, so I built out this entire CMS and it's amazing. It works. It does everything I need it to. But these blog posts are not going to be 
they they will be indexed but none of the content is going to show granted i don't mind with this site because i've not built this site for social media i've built it for sorry i've not built this site for seo i've built it for social media so it's not so bad i can generate my blog posts i can i can edit them i can publish them i can generate the images i i've built a full cms a full cms oh well there we go there's an error but <laughs> but i've built this i've built a full cms that allows me to do everything i wanted to do to generate quizzes from the back end so if i hired someone to manage this and grow this for me they don't have to go into lovable they don't have to in fact if i wanted to just take it off of lovable now and i decided the site was done then I could just manage it because I've built the CMS and that's what a CMS offers. But this wasn't easy to build. CMSs are not easy to build. So you can build something that looks amazing on the front end, but the functionality of it, that is a lot of prompting back and forwards, back and forwards, issues, errors, fixes. Oh, we need this. Oh, we need to add that. And as you just saw, I clicked on the media tab and there's something wrong with that. So that's what building your own CMS entails. But with WordPress, everything is handled. So, headless CMSs, sorry, not, not just headless CMSs, because I've tried Sanity and I've tried Contentful, both amazing tools in, in their own right, but the setup, I'm looking for clean, easy, things that I know as well. So again, WordPress, Initially, I thought it was a lot harder to set up because it said REST API and this and that. But it's actually once you've, I think I could, I think I could pretty much keep doing this. I think I could, now that I've done it, I can do it again and, and I'm going to do it again until it becomes second nature. But the flexibility that you have setting up WordPress as your headless CMS, whether you're going to build the theme or just build the front end the landing page with lovable or bolt you have that flexibility it's just going to it's going to be a new learning curve it's nothing like the building that we've been doing in these ides it's completely different it's completely different but it does offer a lot more flexibility this has been going for a while this is claude 3.7 sonnet max and this is incredible. I think it's similar to Windsurf's, Windsurf's thinking, 3.7 thinking. But what it does is it asks its own questions. So I give it a plan. I always, I always make a big plan for the thing I want to do. I never tell it, add this new feature. I tell it to give me an entire plan. Don't, don't write any code. Don't write any code whatsoever. Give me an entire plan and then we're going to work through it bit by bit but when you switch that into max and you tell it to do that and start with step one and you give it a rules file it knows what to ask it to to move through the flow so that's what's happening here and then it summarizes what it's done and what we need to do so um let's see if this is is working because this is one thing with wordpress is things break a lot and there we go so i've got it on local you do things are a bit different with this this is what i was saying things are a, a, a lot different with developing on a headless cms wordpress with a react or a front end or any kind of setup because you need to run wordpress in a container so i'm using docker you can use wp local local WP, which is what I, I've shared before in the past, but you need to run it in a container and Docker does that. So I've got it running in Docker and some things are different. So for instance, if I want to test the upload, the import feature, I can't just choose a file from my desktop because it's running through Docker's virtual environment. So that's that's been different um other than that when you're doing when you're using it as a headless cms and you've got react if you've got a vite and react front end i've actually got one because i did both but i made a directory 
an entire directory build and then I connected it to WordPress as a headless CMS. So for that to work, they need to be on separate servers. So imagine you've got localhost 3000 and then you've got localhost 571, 5071 or something and they have to talk to each other. So if you don't do it properly, you're going to get cause issues and all kinds of stuff, but they have to talk to each other. So you've got your front end and your back end. And for a while I was like, can't we just have them on the same thing? I just want to deploy on Netlify. I, I want it, but you can't actually do that. So I had no idea. This is it, the Vite and React designed directory that's connected to the headless WordPress CMS, which is why you can see this WordPress API status, checking connection, something's going on over here. It says it's fixed it. It says it's running here at localhost, but we'll see if it goes green or not. And I think it's wrong because this is not the API URL. So let me see, because what it does is it pulls from the WordPress installation, which is on another port and displays the posts here. So you could see all of the listings and whatnot based on what you've got in WordPress. So this is not WordPress, this is React. So you can design everything. I done this in bolt.new. So you can design everything, all the pages, write a review. I don't think I, I don't think I made these pages, but I was testing if I could connect it and it worked. It's not working now, but it did work. But yeah, so it pulls from the WordPress installation and that is here and it will pull these businesses and then send that to the Vite and React version. So you can have, so it failed, that's the wrong URL. So let me tell it that. Okay, there we go. So it says it, it still says it's um, not connected or not found. So there's something wrong with that. But as you can see, it's found the businesses. These are, these have been added here in the back end in WordPress and they're showing up in the Vite site. So you can design it exactly how you want it, how you would want it to look. So you get the benefits of using Lovable or Bolt, but then you've got the WordPress backend. And that means that you're not gonna have any SEO issues. You're not gonna have any issues updating your content, your posts, your blogs, anything, because that's all managed by WordPress. The only issue is you need to put these up on two different servers. So completely different ball game. But as with everything, you only need to do this once successfully. And then you've got that skill that you can build on and iterate on. And that's exactly what I do with this stuff. But back to the theme and plugin. The reason I was doing that to do the, to see if I could do the directory site like that. But the reason I decided against that was that setup process is then something that everybody else has to do. And I'm selling this theme and plugin. So I want to make it as easy as possible. So with this headless setup, we can either install the entire package so you've got you just take the, the the zip file install the package set your uh, do your first time setup of wordpress and add your your um, your details and whatnot and then you're good to go or you can just take the theme and the plugin and then use namecheap use shared hosting and whatnot which i think most people are going to do for ease but that's what having the headless setup allows you to do. So I'm cracking on, I'm, I'm nearly done. I keep saying I'm nearly done, but something always comes up. What I've been doing today was the AI features. So what we're going to be able to do is when you import a CSV, it can clean up the data for you. So we've got data validation and cleaning smart content classification, smart field mapping and content enrichment. Because when you scrape data, sometimes the, the categories are very similar. So you'll end up having redundant categories and just all kinds of small things that you'd have to manually clean. You have to manually clean your, your CSV. But I've added this AI feature that helps do that on import. So it cleans it up for us. And then the other thing, which I'm about to import once I've finished with the the theme side of things because as you can see I've not 
set up the customize and the elemental so this is why you can't see there's there's just like white backgrounds and the text can't be seen but other than that everything else works everything's solid just uh just the customization let's see if this is going to change that no it didn't change what i needed it to so small things that you have to go back and forth with just as you would iterating on on anything really but the focus after getting the theme customization done the elemental integration done is the last the last bit which is just the enrichment so taking all of the business information that you upload and being able to generate descriptions so all the business information plus the reviews to generate descriptions for the businesses um if we can go to the pages i think some of these are not showing the the about is not showing Let's try and find one that has an about section but we've got the location where the map shows up in street view i'm probably this is not supposed to still be loading either what i'm probably going to do is i don't like obviously the white space is an opportunity to add something else but i think the page will look better if we've got the street view and the map and all of this information rather than being in tabs the tabs are clean but there's no need there's no need for it to be clean it's, it can have the information on the page it's easier for people to find uh, but in future all of this stuff will be you'll just be able to move this all around with blocks so no code it's just import your csv more than likely we're gonna get to a stage in iteration where we can just fire up the plugin and the theme and then type in the thing that the business or the area that we want to focus on so let's say we only want to do parks in a specific location we will be able to just type that in and then it will scrape those specific businesses for us this is why i say the early adopters who are getting the unlimited site license let's go let's absolutely go let's absolutely go so if all goes well with the ai enrichment integration and the customizer so i've clearly got things to do with the color scheme and things like that if all goes well then i'm gonna ship this today so if you've already purchased then you're gonna get an email from me today and uh, and you can you can use it right away it's ready to go out the box